So on today's episode, episode 17 in the 100 Things a Man Wants video series, today's topic is men want women that understand where they are coming from. Let's get into it. So coach, I'm having problems with my relationship. What do these men want? Well, they want many things. But fortunate for you, I took the liberty to put it in a new video series. You can catch it on my YouTube channel every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe. All right, coach, let me do that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love, you move the fast for me. So hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Karan Pierre, and if you don't know me, I'm a life coach and your relationship guy. Hopefully, we can work together in the future. So this is like the number one thing you'll find on blogs, right? Men saying that, oh, I need a woman that understands me. I want a woman that knows where I'm coming from. And some of them even feel like women just are not even capable of understanding, them, right? So we definitely going to unpack this and we're going to break this down. So first off, I like to start all of my relationship topic uh, videos based on the fact that there are two types of guys, right? And we're going to speed through this because I actually borrowed this live from the last video. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, it's called uh, Dating Advice 2022, Why Do Men Want to Have Sex Early, right? So you can check that video out. It gives a great example of what I'm talking about. But just to be brief, the right guy typically is willing to listen and compromise. And the wrong guy, as you can see on the screen, doesn't really care about compromising and they only really care about themselves. So you have to identify which type of guy do you have, right? And now when we're doing this series, these 100 things, we're up to episode 17, we have 16 other things we talked about. I always recommend that you do these things for the right guy. So first you have to be able to identify who's the right guy. And if you're not sure if your guy is the right guy, you can go to my website, karanpia.com, and I have a free complimentary checklist that will uh, break that down and help you decide whether or not your guy is the right guy. So let's move forward. So as you can see, there's a couple, they're on a date, he's trying to get her to understand, and she's like, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> so, but hold on. First off, we're not going to put this all on the ladies, right? Because a man just wants you to get them. First off, communication is a universal problem. Both men and women have problems with communication. Both men and women want to be understood. So I got these statistics here from a website called Your Tango. And it says, not surprisingly, communication problems is cited as the most common factor, 65% that leads to divorce, followed by couples' inability to resolve conflict, 43%. The top communication complaints when considering divorce, 70% of men blame nagging, complaining, uh-oh, nagging, complaining, followed by their spouses not expressing sufficient appreciation, 60%. 83% Check this out. A woman cite lack of validation for their feelings and opinions, followed by their spouses not listening or talking about himself too much, 56%. So it goes both ways. So men want to complain about the nagging. Women feel like they aren't validated. So women want to be understood and men want to be understood. That is just the fact of the matter. And if you have a guy that doesn't even consider this, then he's definitely the wrong guy. So let's move forward. There's some things I want to get into, right? So let's talk about it. now. Notice how in this instance, they, 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 this couple who I had used as example as the wrong guy, they look happy in this picture. Why? Maybe there's some understanding going on. So let's get into the examples, right, of what a guy means when he says these things. The first example I would like to jump into is clear communication. Now. If you go back to episode eight in the 100 video series, I talk about men want a woman who's a straight shooter, right? And all that is is a woman who is easy and straightforward, real, but not brutally honest, right? But you could go back and check that video. I do a great job of explaining what I mean, right? So in clear communication, they, the man definitely wants you to understand how he communicates, his communication style, and to truly understand what he means. That's what he means. So he just wants you to see where he's coming from. A part of this is accepting what he means and not what he says. What do I mean by that? Well, an example would be if you and your spouse got into an argument and he says that you look fat in that dress. Now I know fat is an old word. Don't criticize me. Maybe I'm showing my age. I don't know, but fat, 
P-H-A-T, not F-A-T. You think he's saying F-A-T, he's saying P-H-A-T. Maybe because he's an old school hip hop head and he wants to use that slang, right? Now, because women are sensitive to their weight and their bodies, now the woman gets upset, okay? And he wasn't really talking about your weight. He was talking about your looks. But you're so caught up with the F-A-T word, he's talking about P-H-A-T. That's an example of what I mean. He wants you to understand what he means, not what he says, okay? And listen, I will never give you the clear concession to do this for the wrong guy, but if it's the right guy, definitely try to be understanding in that regard. I know it's hard. The next thing I want to talk about is genuine friendship. Now, friends' first relationships have reasonable success rates. But you should definitely consider developing one if you aren't friends at first. That's what I mean. Like if you guys aren't booze and buddies and then decide to hook up on a romantic uh, tip, that's what I'm talking about when I say friends first relationships. However, you don't have to be in a friends first relationship to develop a true friendship, right? Because men want a woman that could be that lover and a friend, that woman he could bring around to his friends because there's studies that show that especially men that care about bromances, they do value what their friends think about their woman, right? So men definitely want you to be that friend that understands him, right? Because friends ha typically have good understandings of their friends. Sexual compatibility, understanding him sexually. Now, I did episodes uh, 10 through 12, um, I think episode 10 was about the sexual response cycle. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was episode 11, I believe. Go back and check that video out. I do a great job of explaining the whole cycle. And the truth about sexual compatibility is just knowing what his needs are, learning what he wants and how he wants it. So he wants you to figure him out in this regard. This is a part of the understanding. The next thing I would love to jump into is complete acceptance. Now we did an episode, episode seven in the series talking about uh, complete understanding or uh, unconditional understanding, I should say. <laughs> and we realized that, you know, there's no way uh, understanding can be unconditional because the relationship has conditions. You, you violate those conditions, the relationship is over. So you do have to accept your man for who he is, right? And what I would suggest is, because sometimes we just get in these relationships and we allow things to just flow naturally. But one suggestion I would say is just have a conversation with your man to see where he's coming from. Ask him directly what he means by saying, I want you to get me. I want a woman to understand me and get me, right? Tell him five things that he wants you to know about him that he might feel that you don't know, or just five things that are very important to him. That should help in that regard. So in closing, right? All I want to say is this, understanding has to be a two-way street. It, it can't just be one way. Your man wants you to understand him, but he has no desires in you getting to know him. That's crazy. No, we're not going to do that. So if your man isn't willing to reciprocate this levels of understanding and getting me, chances are you might have the wrong guy. You might have to reconsider your relationship. Or if you're dating this guy, then you just might have to leave this guy alone because typically he's not the right guy for you. Um, another thing too, is just always avoid the wrong guy. Never commit to that situation. It's going to lead to a lot of heartbreak and turmoil in the future. So don't forget to subscribe. If you hadn't already hit that bell icon, so you get all your notifications and like the video. So more cool people can check out the video. Uh, see you Thursday, uh, for episode 18 and stay blessed.